Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Rebecca and today I am excited to share with you guys something that you have requested that I share on here, which is some acrylic pour painting. And this is going to be a DIY Dollar Tree acrylic pour. It makes some beautiful painting, some beautiful artwork on a budget. I hope you guys will enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. So getting started, the first thing I did was pick out my paints. And like I said, I found all of these in Dollar Tree. Now I could not find tan or blush pink or any pink really besides this hot pink when I was in Dollar Tree, but I was excited to find this kind of peachy beige color along with some black. I did get some white paint and I picked up this hot pink. I already had this one from Dollar Tree as well, but if you add the tiniest bit of this hot pink one in with some white paint, you can create kind of a softer pinky tone. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. If you're looking for gray, I don't know if they sell gray either, but again, if you mix the black and white, you can get some gray paint. This is going to be an acrylic pour and I did pick up all my paint in Dollar Tree. However, the one thing that is not from Dollar Tree here is going to be the Liquitex pouring medium. So I got this in a gloss finish on Amazon and I will have it linked down below. It's also linked, I believe, on my Amazon storefront. So the pouring medium will not dilute your color at all. You'll still get the same richness and whatever color that you make. You'll still get your same color. It's just going to make it easier to pour and and then it will also help it dry to a nice smooth glossy finish and this particular one also helps it not get any air bubbles so mix your colors to get them how you want and you'll want the consistency to be kind of like a runny honey <laughs> <laughs> like a kind of like a thin honey I guess um, it can be the consistency of honey or a little bit thinner I guess you wouldn't want it too much thicker than honey or it may not pour very easily but anyway that's usually going to be about three to one ratio three parts liquitex to one part acrylic paint I layered all of the acrylic paints now into one larger cup and I just layered them all in here and I'm ready to pour now. So for this, I'm using one of the 11 by 14 Dollar Tree canvases, which by the way, if you want to put these in a frame later, you totally can because Dollar Tree does carry 11 by 14 uh, picture frames and you could just remove the glass from that and actually frame your canvas. So anyway, that's just a little hack a little tip for you guys but go ahead and pour this and I was not sure how much paint I needed so I ended up having to like mix a tiny bit more because it wasn't quite enough so I basically started in one corner and I just went back and forth back and forth all the way across diagonally to the opposite corner and like I said I mixed a little bit more to add on here and now I'm going to go ahead and spread this out by tilting the canvas and just letting the paint flow and flood over the canvas and spread all by itself. And then obviously you wanna do this on top of something. So I have a, just a piece of foam board here, but definitely cover your work surface because there's going to be a lot of paint run off and I have just a planter a little Dollar Tree planter under here the foam board is also from Dollar Tree and I just I'm gonna set this um, canvas on top of this little planter you just need like a little riser kind of something to hold it up so that as any extra paint flows off the edge your canvas is gonna dry like free and clear and just um, nice and evenly and you could go ahead and just seal this now with an acrylic sealant um, and then go ahead and frame it and I think this is so beautiful but I actually wanted to try something on here that I thought would be really fun which is adding in a little bit of um, metallic leafing so I did pick up gold silver and copper leaf this pack uh, comes with all three and I wanted to add a little bit of the rose gold copper metal metallic um, metal leafing in here. Um, to do this, I've got a little bit of craft glue from Dollar Tree. The metal leaf I did get on Amazon, but again, this is optional. You don't need this for an acrylic pour, but in case you guys are curious like I was, you can see how this kind of looks. So what I did was very ever so slightly just add the tiniest bit of glue where I wanted the metal leafing to adhere. And I basically followed some of the lines and curves in the paint. Now, I've already let this dry for at least a day, so my paint is completely dry now. And I just added little bits of glue on here and added in my metallic foil leaf. I just kind of set this on here carefully and then let it all dry, give it a chance to dry, and then 
you'll be able to, once it's completely dry, come back in with a soft paintbrush, a soft dry paintbrush, and you can just brush away all of the extra metal leafing that's on here, which I actually collected in this little bag because I think I may use that in another upcoming future project, but you don't have to, you could just throw away the excess. It was a little bit time consuming, but also kind of satisfying to do this. And then I just let that completely um, dry, make sure everything's totally dry on there before you start brushing away that extra metal leaf. And once you've got it all cleaned off, you can see your final look here. And what I decided to do, you could, you could take some acrylic spray and finish this just to give it a nice final coat. But I actually took a gloss Mod Podge and brushed that on there. And that worked totally fine. It looks really good. I would just recommend, you kind of can see brush strokes if you put the Mod Podge on too thick and you don't get it like really smoothed out. A spray sealant for acrylic paint will give you a more even finish than the gloss Mod Podge, but this did work as well. And then last but not least, I spray painted a Dollar Tree frame with some rose gold spray paint and framed my canvas. And here is how it turned out. I just absolutely love it. And I currently have it up on the fireplace. So I hope that this gave you guys some ideas. If you wanted to do an acrylic cup pour on your own, you can totally do this from Dollar tray you'll just need a little bit of a pouring medium to mix in there with your paint but here is how it turned out you guys could do this with any colors that you like and anyway i hope that you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up that always lets me know you guys are enjoying my videos thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed consider subscribing before you go i would love to have you here and as always i wish you a beautiful and blessed day and i will see you soon in the next one bye